Oh, hey, welcome to another episode of What the Sweet Fuck. I'm Nicola Fodi. Hey, I'm Megan Tonjes, and I still don't know what the fuck my hair is doing. <laughs> and we're here to give you all things fuckworthy. Fuck worthy. Well, what are you here for today? Oh, baby? I am here for the fact that Game of Thrones can't get their shit together, and even in their last episode, there's a fucking water bottle. <laughs> Samwell Tarly. That's me, though. Bitch, goddamn. I mean, I love it. I mm -hmm. love, you know, okay, first of all, we need to look at whoever was working on set this year that was, like, in charge of making sure the water mm -hmm. bottles and coffees were taken away. Don't put it on your resume. Not the last season of Game of Thrones, because... Uh. God bless. Did you enjoy the, the season finale? Yes. Uh, fast forward to this moment if you don't want spoilers, because I'm about to talk about okay. Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. This is your last chance to fast forward to the timestamp on your screen to avoid Game of Thrones spoilers. But I, I liked it. Mm. I know a lot of people hated it, but I, I liked it. I yeah. feel like things ended in a way that were not predictable, mm -hmm. and I like that aspect of it. Well, unfortunately, mm. that aspect was taken away from it because I read the leaks, and the leaks were oh, all correct. I didn't even know there were leaks. The I'm leaks glad. were the I'm leaks happy. were all the leaks were like John kills Daenerys. Oh wow! Uh, Bran becomes king. Um, like, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, the leaks have fucked me up. But I never saw leaks before. I'm not even mm -hmm. that into the show. I've yeah. watched every, it's like, have you ever watched every episode of a show, but you don't give a fuck about it? Cause that's me. That's you me watch it while show. you're like listening to music and cleaning the apartment and editing a video. Okay, and... me. Everything was spoiled for me. Um, which is fine. Cause we know how I feel about spoilers. I love it. What? Okay. What were your guesses before the spoilers? Guesses before the spoilers. Because I was kind of right about one of my guesses. Let me remember the time. I just didn't, I didn't expect maybe, I guess I just wasn't paying attention to Daenerys. I was just like, oh God, just get the fucking capital of these dragons. Like, I'm so over it, dude. Um, and the way she kind of turned, I, mm. I didn't want Jon Snow to do anything. I didn't want Jon Snow to be the leader. I didn't really want her to be the leader. <laughs> they were making Cersei look not so bad. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I kind yeah. of, I kind of was like down for the people that I wanted to like have a good ending were Sansa, Arya, and Tyrion, and I feel like they all got pretty good. Yeah. I mean, you know, Tyrion. I loved. This is what I did love from the season finale. I loved when they were like, "Well, Tyrion's gonna spend his whole life undoing the things that he's done," and I was like, "I like that. Mm -hmm. I'm into it." I, I mean, I love Tyrion. I ever since the episode where Daenerys came to King's, I mean, to uh, Winterfell, mm -hmm. and Sansa was giving her that look, like. And it was, I like I had the the mustard seed was growing from that moment. I was like, I wonder if Sansa's gonna become queen. Like I, yeah. I feel it. I feel it. I mean, she did. She yeah, that's did. what I'm saying. So like, I was kind of right, but yeah. it was like, not of the se seven kingdoms. Sansa it's, deserved, and so, Arya deserved, yeah. and uh, the dire wolves deserve. It definitely makes sense that Arya is an explorer. And I now. think I think it's so funny that people are like, yes, Bran, and I'm like. Brand knew all of this was gonna happen, mm -hmm. and he didn't do shit about it. Like, <laughs> not that he should have, or not that he could have, because maybe he saw, maybe he's like some Doctor Strange shits. Like, he sees this is the least horrible version this could have gone. Like, mm -hmm. all of you could have died if we'd done something slightly different. But I loved when uh, Tyrion was like, wanted him to, he was like, you the Lord of Winterfell or whatever, and he was like, I don't want anymore. And then all of a sudden he's like, you know, oh, you want to be king? He's like, why did you think I came here? I'm like, whoa, well, this bitch is full of surprises. You know what's amazing too? Whoever casted Game of Thrones is amazing because yeah. these children oh, yeah. grew up to be great actors. Yeah. Like, that doesn't always happen. Like, shows don't always get that yeah. lucky. Yeah, Bran's really good at being super just like monotone <laughs> and sitting and like, just... He just Looking. has that, you know, he got that air. He does got that air. And he is that, that air. Small annoying child from the first episode. Oh shit, air like H E I R. You caught that? Is that how you spell it? Yeah, I'm doing mm -hmm. a spelling bee on. Well, actually, by the time this goes up tonight. Excuse me? I'm doing an adult spelling bee at UCB, Los Angeles. Come say hi. Tonight? To the, when this episode goes oh, up. Oh, tomorrow. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ, catch up. Well, God bless. Listen. This is why Nikki and I can't do anything together. I'm like flashing back to our um, our game show days. Oh, I miss Buzzer. I miss. Oh my God, when I couldn't paid to lose with you. I couldn't I guess uh, naked, body or not naked. Nude. Yeah. I was like. <laughs> I was like, I don't even remember what I said. Like bathing. Yeah. Oh God, it's like the <laughs> most frustrating thing. It's 
It's like, I'm like, Nikki, look at me. Look at me, Nikki. <laughs> uh, I won, I won a couple. That's oh, nice. I won, uh, yeah, what's it called? Me. No, not with you. Not with me. I won Password with Denise. Okay. Uh, I don't even remember what we're talking. I don't oh, yeah. remember what we're talking about either. Oh, I was talking about Water Bottle King's Landing six oh, minutes yeah. later. Wow. You're welcome for this one, bitch. This is a little gift for last week. I mean, I I also like I kind of could talk about Game of Thrones longer, but I'm gonna stop myself. <laughs> I'm just here for. I love that Sansa was like the North will remain independent, and no one said shit. Yeah, because no one was gonna say shit. That's Sansa fucking Stark. What's his face? Started talking. She was like, Uncle, sit. <laughs> <laughs> I love people when he stood up, he's like, oh, okay, I guess well, it's someone me. has, to, and she's like, no, sit down, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I don't even know who that man was. I don't care. Couldn't tell you. I think it's her, her mom's brother, maybe. But like, what was his Holy. importance? I don't know. Did you see the, did you see the, the little kid that grew up? Mm. He um Oh, there was like a young air uh fuck from the area or whatever it was. The one that was like he was like eight years old and being breastfed by his mother before she the crazy Oh the tall Yeah, thing yeah, that was like up there. Uh -huh. He was that little kid and then all of a sudden he showed up he looked like a goddamn Disney prince. Wow, I didn't realize that was him. That was him, I was so confused about who that was, and I'm like, oh We watch it like with the captions on. So it says like man one, man oh, two. Well, man one. Man like it didn't two. even give them their Wow, the their disrespect, names. the disrespect. All I care about is, look, I'm, I'm going to need, I know that they're coming up with like a million other shows for Game of Thrones and there's much other prequels yes, and sequels and whatever. Naomi Watts, is, I think, is in it. Whatever, this is what I need. I need to know Sansa's life afterwards as the queen. I want to see who she's fucking. I want to see who she's killing. I want it all, okay? Mm -hmm. I want to know. And then Arya, I'm intrigued by what's gonna happen, but I want to read the book. Maybe books. you don't need to go further than the maps, girl, because white people going further than the maps has never worked out in anyone else's favor. So <laughs> I, I, I at least trust Arya not to be one of those white people. I never trust white people to not be white people. <laughs> <laughs> so today I'm here for at uh, nine minutes. Into this video. <laughs> I did this purposefully for you, bitch. I am here. Yes. For this college graduate uh, doing a backflip. No. Look at this. Don't do this. Wow. Oh, God. Okay. <gasps> Is he okay? He Do landed we... on his neck. Do we know if he's okay? Um... Oh good! It's not clear if the grad was physically injured, but at the very least, the mishap hurt his pride. So, um... Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to know if that, yeah, if I, that I boy need, can watch. I need an update, because uh, that was right on his neck. Oh. See, here's this, what happened. Okay. I didn't watch this video before I chose it. Oh, I just you were coming at me. You were coming at me about not researching it. Oh, no, doing... that was to both of us. Oh, okay, fair. Yeah, we always just pick Oh, this headlines. is not a well-researched show. This is just a cute show. <laughs> were you misinformed? Were you misled? Well, uh, let's hope that wow. he's fine because... Wow. wow. Someone posted that and said, I'm freaking dying. <laughs> like a laugh face, bro. <laughs> so uh, he might be too. Let's I'm, hope that he I'm didn't. I'm hoping that whoever filmed that and put it up only put it up after they saw him walk off stage. And yeah, because uh, they stopped that's filming. What that's what I'm saying. Not good. Not good. Here's, also, here's a note. Uh, when you're walking across the stage at graduation, just walk across the stage at graduation. Unless you're a gymnast. Yeah. Like, who knows you can land it. I get you're excited. I get it. But... Let's not push it. I just hope you're okay, babe. I couldn't wait to walk across my... Uh, well... I couldn't wait to be done with my graduation. I couldn't I'll even tell, I can't remember not one thing from my graduation. I sat, I sat at the back um, with my headphones in because I was already pissed because my advisor told me last minute that, well, they couldn't print out your your degree because the whatever. So I wasn't gonna get my actual degree because of some kind of font mistake. Mm. And so I was like, why the fuck am I even here? Like I was so over it. I like cried the whole walk around campus. I got in, I was just over it. And then when I walked across the stage, everything was fine. I, it was in. It was inside. So yeah, I was, I was upset for nothing. I'm sure mine was fine. I just. I mean, the only thing that I uh, was. I would say unhappy, but that sounds dramatic. Do I you just, have your degree hanging over your computer every day I while you edit? Don't even know where my degree is. <laughs> and on and my my 
dad lost the house, so it might just be <laughs> like laughing when you taken say away. <laughs> <laughs> it might just like be in that house bulldozed. I don't know. Listen, my life, everything before this moment, I've left. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I was thinking the other day, I was like, what if I had to get a job and I had to like prove to them that I have a degree? And I'm like, what do I even have to do? <laughs> like, I barely remember what school I went to. <laughs> like. Wait, do you remember me? Like, I actually never went back and picked up. Wait, I, that's a whole other story. Uh, Whatever. I just, I was, I was sad because my best friend in college, Karine, mm -hmm. graduated the semester before me. Mm. So we didn't get to walk together. And that, I, that's yeah. all I remember. I graduated before most of my friends, which were nursing students, and they were like in a five-year program, and I was mm. only in a four-year program. Mm. But they tried to keep my ass for longer, and I said, absolutely not today, bitch. I did all my credits. So you're not gonna change things last minute. I so. certainly went to college for five years. You f you seem like a person that went to college for five years, and that's all I'll say on that. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, <laughs> but I like it. All right, so today I want to talk about this Spanish couple who discovered eighty thousand bees in their bedroom wall. <laughs> Every time you get to your story, finally, I'm like, I thought the episode was done. How are <laughs> Were you we still looking here? for a me as fuck? I was, I was just living. Well, we are like 15 minutes into this fucking episode, so. <laughs> you said you had a lot of stuff to uh, do, so I thought I'd make it harder for you. Honestly, I do have something to do. May 20th. Okay. Today, or oh, that was yesterday. This sounds like Ava it. Gordy's absolute dream. Oh, I already picked my gift for it. Okay, good. Oh, <laughs> you knew. You know. A oh. couple in Spain discovered a buzzing sound that was keeping them up. I can't even talk. Keeping them up at night was caused by 80,000 bees in their bedroom wall. At what point do you go from like, like I just imagine one of them bringing up, like, do you hear that babe? I don't, I don't know, do you hear that? No, that must just be, it must just be something, like it's something outside. Like how long does that go on before eventually you're like, okay, there's 80,000 bees in our bedroom wall. Not, not eight, not 800, not, not 8,000. 8, 80,000. <laughs> The couple from the city of Granada, Andalusia, has been mystified by the low humming sound emitting from their wall for two years. Okay, well, at this point, oh, we need to discuss who owns the home, and I think it's the bees, so maybe we should hand the deed over. <laughs> Until the sound became louder as temperatures in the area rose, and they called the local beekeeper for help. Oh my god. Uh, uh, they described it as unbearable noise. How old are they? They're old, right? That's what 80,000 bees might produce, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't have their ages, but the sounds, I guess, fluctuated based on the bees' activity, growing louder as they moved about and quieting down as they worked inside their hive. Oh I don't want to ever find out there are 80,000. I don't want to find out there's one bee hiding inside my wall. I have enough cockroaches. Oh, true. I don't need critters in my home not paying rent. You know, if you're going to be there, pitch You gotta in. pay rent. If you're gonna hang out bees, that's cool, but. And let me let me just, 80, rent split between 80,000 bees. Oh, Let's see, I, I my, my rent is 1680 <laughs> divided by 80,000. Oh, I guess me and Ken will also pitch in. Okay. So 1680 divided by 80,002. That's, that's not even a cent each. I like so that. I like those odds. We can do that. We can put all of you on the lease. Yeah, if we can even, not even all of you have to pay. Like yeah, if yeah. we all pitch in a penny, yeah. and then we'll save the rest for a rainy day. Yeah, I like that. Wow. So, you know, 80,000, we got 80,000 pennies. That's, that's 800, what, I don't know what that is. I could, oh God, I, I want to find out. I, I'm sorry, I, I can't, 80,000. <laughs> Capricorns. <laughs> That's 800. That's what I thought. $800. Okay. okay. All right. I like that. I like those odds. Um, I mean, this is what we got to do. This is what we got to do. I'm down to put everyone on the lease. I'm down to uh, everyone wait, so they, deposit. Wait, so we all owe at least two cents. Something was wrong with would my original love, math. I would love to pay two cents. It's more than my original projection of, of one cent when yeah. I did the math wrong. But you did. You're not going to let it go. Let's You're throw continue. in a nickel. What if we what if we all pitch in a dollar? I feel like I'm in my fucking nightmare right now. I feel like I'm like in school and they're like, okay, but what if we threw in five cents and I'm like literally trying to imagine what a nickel looks like and like, okay, that's the bigger one, right? That's not okay. And how many times does that go into a hundred? I mean, my, I'm I'm here to be cute. 
Oh my god. I don't need to do math because you know what? I know the sound of 80,000 fucking bees in a wall and I know that I will be calling the landlord immediately. <laughs> Help me. And who are you today? Well, um... Because this is me. I'm Ava Gordy. Uh, I would love to be Ava Gordy. As a bee. Because when is Ava Gar Ava Gardy? <laughs> When's Ava Gardy not a bee? First of all, I don't know who Ava Gardy is, but Ava Gordy? That bitch is, I mean, she's the queen of bees. The bee queen. Queen bee. You think it's Beyonce. It's, it's Ava. Not, it's Ava Gordy. Well, this is me when you're trying to do all this math, for sure. I, yes, I already, when I was doing this, I already was going to use, gonna use that. Good, I'm glad. Because oh. you can see my face in the recording and I'm confused. I'm happy about it. We're almost recording for 20 minutes. God damn. I love it. Our I love it. Dicks. Well, I think it's time for us to uh, give a little to our Patreon BB. It's time. It's time we suckle. They keep this free show free as fuck. Giving a extra little kisses to our BBs in the sweet spot. Jeremy Shaw. Jeremy. Whoa. Jeremy Shaw. Shank Redemption. This. Mm. My mom's in the other room. <laughs> this. Elijah Lenahan. Elijah Lenahan. Shannon the Lemon. Shannon, Shannon, Shannon the Lemon. Shannon, so sweet, so tart lemon. I blame the way you pronounce things for why Heather I can't speak. Snitch for a lawyer. Heather, shut the fuck up, snitch. Uh, and Taylor Markhausen. Taylor uh, Munchausen is really having a moment, Markhausen. We also want to give a to Wyatt Eaton. Ooh, Wyatt out on the range, Eaton. <laughs> uh, Roberto XS. Roberto, I want you XL XS. AJ Avicia. AJ, I just wanna, I wanna cuddle your mouth, Avicia. Tamar Moongrave. Tamar, the only bitch that cares about Moongrave. Sam Brodor. Sam, it's too much Brodor. Carissa Maven. Carissa Maven, the love of my life. MK the Vader. MK Twitch Bitch the Vader. Evan Blue. Evan So Blue without you. Stephanie. Chelsea Strong. Chelsea Strong, I'm the way to my heart. JB Terpsichore. How do you play that JB Terpsichore? Pam Gallegos. Pam, I, let me tell you about your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Gallegos. And William Harvey. William, say no shit, take no shit, be the shit, Harvey. We also want to give an extra, or not an extra, just a regular amount of love. Just a to normal. All the BBs you see on the screen. <laughs> just an, an average not, not amount of love. We're not giving we're them not kisses. We're not giving We're not kissing them, but we're like lightly caressing them as they go by. And we kiss them for more money, but like we like them enough to touch them. We Hi. appreciate you. Thank appreciate you for being here. If you would like to become a BB, patreon.com slash what the sweet fuck. Wow, we'd love to see it. I would like to see it. I would like to see it. I'm Nicole Foto. You can find me most places at Soundly Awake. I'm Megan Tanjus, and if you're not subscribed to me, I guess you are a demon. But not a fun demon, a bad demon. Did you know we haven't done the Midwest twist first of all, for a while? I've, but... <laughs> it's like, first of all, you're doing like, fuck you, and like, yeah. Oh yeah, there is a Midwest twist. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we it's invented been a minute. this, right? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's a mix of like, fuck you in the UK, and also like a little bit of the shocker, and then like- Like a oh, half shocker. Yeah, like a half shock. Because we don't got the stink, we just yeah. got the- pink. No. <laughs> Crack little Midwest twist. <laughs> I love it. Also, if you didn't know, there's another episode on Megan's channel. We there do two is. of them a week. There always is. Your faves could never. Every week we do two episodes. Wow. Plus and extra they usually, clips. And on they usually Patreon. get edited right before they're uploaded. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I keep looking at this gif of Ava. It's wonderful. Uh, I can look at gifs of Ava all day.